Street, the library, for whatever the future holds. We have the ability to utilize all of this floor and that part of the third floor, which is currently occupied by AT&T when they get out this fall. So you see we'll, we have a lot, of, a lot of room and some of our uh, people are already planning on moving over here later this month. I wish we could fill the building with students, but I have real doubts about it and it does not look promising. I met with Professor Jansen uh, at his request on Friday and answered his questions concerning the dire situation at the school. Subsequently, he met with his four-member faculty committee and talked to them, and they asked us to meet with the entire faculty. We thought it was also important to include the staff because we know who really gets the work done around here. So thank you for being here. Um, so that's why we're here. Uh, judging from this morning's paper, it's not as clear as I thought it was that people still do not understand the dire situation at the school. It is as dire as it has ever been with the failure to complete the Westbrook Inflaw transaction and Inflaw's decision to retreat. The school is left back in the same position it was in in December. There are no suitors, no white knights, no group of investors, no state colleges, no private colleges, either profit or nonprofit, seeking the law school. As we have said for almost two years now, Inflaw is and always has been the only viable option for the survival of the school. Inflaw wanted the school because it wanted to be in Charleston and saw this as a potential jewel in its crown, its, its flagship school. But Inflaw does not want to come back to a school or to a city where it's not wanted. Accordingly, we must make a formal announcement uh, next week after graduation about whether we will admit a class in the fall. Time is of the essence for making that decision. We cannot in good faith enroll another class when, like last year, the school is spending more money than is coming in. When we cannot assure the students that they will be able to use federal student loans for the, their full year, three years. And when we cannot be sure the school will be able to maintain its license and stay open. We are arranging for another American Bar Association accredited school to fulfill CSOL's academic obligations <coughs> to the students if needed. Two existing ABA accredited law schools have indicated an interest in taking on this obligation, and our lawyer has been talking with one of them confidentially. We are heartbroken with this situation. It was a dream for the two of us to build an ABA accredited law school. It was a dream to see it operate for over 12 years and educate approximately 1,500 lawyers. This has been a wonderful ride, and we have always done what we thought was in the best interest of the school and of the students. While there are those who disagree with our decisions, no one has given us more than empty promises and false hopes. So now we are, right, we are reaching the final hour. It did not have to be this way, but this is the way it is. If you have any interest in an alternative result, the burden is now on you. You individually or collectively should contact Peter Goplerud or Rick Inatom at Infolaw immediately to express your support for Infolaw and to encourage, uh, urge Infolaw to come back, back to the table. You should also be prepared to communicate this support publicly, practically to the student, particularly to the students, alumni, and the CAG. I know you have many questions, but we don't have many answers. You should expect a formal announcement early next week and more information at that time. If you have anything you want to share, it really should be addressed to Peter Gopalru or Rick and Tom. But George and I will be glad to hear from you uh, by email or otherwise. 
that's all I've got to say. Thank you very much. Feel free to look around this floor and, and think about what could be and what might be. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're not going to take any questions. Yeah. So no questions? Nothing? Right.